How's it going guys? We're back in with another video and today we're gonna be looking at this Mint in Box 1980s Lasco Dayton 9 inch oscillating desk fan. Got this off of eBay for about $25 with free shipping and it was well worth it because this thing was Mint in Box. I fully assembled it for probably the very first time. No yeah it was the first time because it was an absolute Excuse my French, it was an absolute pain in the ass to get the blade onto the motor shaft because the plastic was so new it would not go on. Which I was going to upload a two part series of the assembly of this, but due to the blade not going onto the motor shaft, I had to cut the video short. And then found out that it ended up deleting the entire video, which I was very upset about. So, so here we are. It's fully assembled and it's ready to run. This is probably gonna be like easily the fourth or fifth time it's ever ran in its life, which is pretty cool knowing, knowing most 80s fans that you get from like around your area or online or have 30 years of age on top of them and a lot of most of those years of just running time, which this one's the same way. It is still 30 years old, but it barely has been ran, which is still good. The bearings are basically pristine. Everything is pristine. Plastic is pristine. Grill cages, the clips are pristine. The blade is, okay, yeah, the blade is a bit off balance, but it's still very, very, very good condition. And yeah, as you can see in the background, there's the original box, which I'll show you up close if you would like. Since the other video, messed up there's the Dayton logo 9 inch 2 speed all swooning fan model 4C523E which is so funny because I this is the second 9 inch Dayton I have because I have this one as you can see that blade color but if you look over here in my room there's my other one right there this is the this is a 4, 4C523F and as you can see the difference, blade color is a lot, that one's a lot darker shade. Plus, this is brown, so is the knob, and that's a darker brown too. But just different blade color, no little differences. And this is a 4C523E, which is even more interesting. So I basically have two examples of Dayton's 9 inch Dayton's 9 inch model from Lasco here's the side of the box I pull out the instructions but they're like in the bottom of the box under a lot of cardboard and paper and I don't want this video to be too long since I have to make a lot of others after this so here's the other side same as the other one same as the other side but it has interesting mark marker residue on it from someone and here's some store, some printing on the top, and it's on this side. Which side is it? Oh, here's a store tag somewhere from whenever it was originally sold at. On the bottom? No, guess not. Oh, that might be on the Dayton box fan that I also got. New in box, which is right here. That's going to be a future video. So yeah, I have two mint in box Dayton fans which is super cool alrighty so now on to the fan get this thing out of the way move you a bit closer here onto the fan it's a 9 inch 9 inch ga galaxy almost said galaxy 9 inch Lasco and it has the scythe blade with the pointy blades which means it's mid to late 80s because the early 80s the 70s into the early 80s ones had just the standard little pedal blade where it came and then ended right there. Which, in my opinion, those are kind of boring. I like this blade style better. It's very kind of space age trying to be esque in a way. So I like it. Show you a close up. The fan is very pristine. Nothing on the base, even though there is some dust that's been sitting. Beautiful cages with all clips installed. 
beautiful badge. The Dayton logo. Show you the side. Absolutely 100% no yellowing. And yes, people keep asking about these, and it's on all 9 inch Lascos. The cage nut was molded in that color. It is not yellowed, as everyone presumes it to be. Here's the back. Yeah, it's molded in yellow. When I pulled it out of the little shipping baggie it came in, it was yellow. Same with this one. It is yellow as well. So, enough of that. Why don't we say we fire this thing up? So, without further ado, let's move it a bit like that so you don't get some wind noise. We'll start up on low. It's oscillating. Well, might as well show you oscillating first. Oscillates very, very smoothly. Now, high speed, since the weight is very, very slightly off balance, it does make a lot of racket on the cages, and I don't know how to fix that. I guess it didn't sit in a hot location when it was in the box. But I'll turn it on high, but it's about to be loud. So. See, if I hold the cage, it helps a bit. louder because these originally came with four it came it comes with five cage clips but i put the extra one right there because you're only supposed to put four on but i went ahead and threw on the fifth one because it kind of buffers out the cage vibration a bit it's a lot louder without it but all right and off This is by far the longest spin down I've ever seen on a 9 inch Lasco. Since it's this new, it makes sense. Plus, it's not suffering from the last of the iconic bearing lock knock that uh, last all Lasco fans get 16 inch, 12 inch, and 9 inches. So, I'll show you with this one because this one's really bad. That right there. So. Yeah, so that one suffers from it, but this one's actually really good. So, yep. So, I guess that's really it. There's the uh, Lasco Dayton 9 inch 4C523E from the mid, mid to late 80s. So, yeah. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Y'all stay safe.